Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the introduction to Mediterranean Sun Dance. Now this piece is quite advanced and I've decided to do a tutorial on it because I'm working on learning it myself for a gig that's coming up in Melbourne. So uh, I thought I'd do a little tutorial and so that I, I can share with you the process of learning it and um, how to overcome some of the technical challenges involved. Now I've decided to use a pick for this because there's some fast picking in this. Uh, there's some arpeggio playing as well, some bluesy pentatonic playing. There's quite a lot of stuff in this, so I think you'll enjoy it. This piece was originally written by El Di Miola and Paco de Lucia, and it appears on El Di Miola's Elegant Gypsy album. It was then later reworked as a trio piece when John McLaughlin joined the duo, and it became the guitar trio in the 80s. And there are some really great YouTube videos out there of the live performances. This was featured on their live album Friday Night in San Francisco. Okay, so we're going to take this piece at around 80 beats per minute, even though in the original I think they go over about the 100 mark, around the 100 beats per minute. And there's that semi demi semi quaver section, which is really fast and tricky. And I think 80 is probably a good place to practice it, even probably a little bit slower. Um, but we're going to start with the A minor section. So we, let's let's turn the metronome on at 80. And we're going to practice this uh, arpeggio pattern, which looks like this. So I'm playing that with really the thumb PIM, like an A minor nine. So the melody's like the melody's working on the third string, and we're just playing C and E in the middle. A little bit of a syncopated rhythm, and a little bit of a hammer there. So that's the opening uh, arpeggio. Then we move to an E minor 9 chord, which is really more of a B7. And then, and then we play our E minor in a, like a, or a squared or You can also just go like that. But you can use your, your first finger as a slide, as a kind finger. Okay, and then we're here for the next section, which is um, a descending pattern which is an E minor, down to a D, and then a C major seven. Now, before I do that, I grab the pick, because there's this is the next section is a lot easier with the pick. So we're gonna play our E minor fast, and then... Now this is like a little blues pattern, going nine, eight, nine, then slide 10 up to 12. Now you can look at a previous video where I talk about the E minor pentatonic, especially in that position. So check out the link above for that. And then we go to our D7, back to here, but this time we're going to be playing these parallel fifths. Tenth position, from 10 to 8, 5 to 8, back to 5. I usually slide there, all right? Then we play our C major seven chord, going from fifth position to third to first. Again, using a pick kind of helps because you, you can kind of strum it. going to help us with this next bit which is our B7 chord all right and then we're going to be doing a this uh, really fast pattern which goes two three five three two and this is where the picking really helps with the pick because um, I find it really difficult to play it that fast with fingers now this is probably be the hardest thing for you to learn and there is a, a rhythm there that you need to look at, which is, uh, let's take it at say 60. So we're gonna go. Okay, 
Okay, so our rhythm is. Now that's kind of tricky to get that in your head, but basically you want to wait for the beat and play just after the beat for the first lot. And then this next second lot, starting on the D sharp, is on the beat. So it's mm. Okay, let's try with the metronome. And I'm doing it without the chords because it's a little easier. It's hard to kind of incorporate these chords, the B7. Also double, uh, so you get the semi, you get the quavers underneath. That can help you a little bit as well. Okay, now we're going to move up to seventh position. It's always the same pattern: one, two, four, two, one. Now, in the original, they actually harmonise. So the, the first guitarist is still playing that and that's gonna go over the top. Try not to play it too hard. It's light, there's a lot of notes. If you miss a couple of notes, it doesn't really matter. Obviously you wanna practice it correctly, but in the performance side of it. And stay loose and relaxed. You know, smooth uh, is fast usually. You need to work on the smoothness rather than, you know, getting every single note. Okay, let's move on to the next bit, which is the, uh, the rumba part. So we're going to play basically a G chord with a G slash B. So it's a G in set, um, first inversion. All right, so I'm going down, up, down, up, and then and then doing a, a 9, 10 slur hammer on. twice and then we the second time the third time we're going to go to a which is a g7 now i've shifted to first finger and third finger because we're going to use a second finger to do the hammer on all right so it's now we're going to move to an f chord again in first inversion and what I do is I'm playing basically eight and eight and seven and seven underneath and then and back to a C chord here all right so let's just do that again from the G7 seven chord okay so uh, let's just do that rumba part uh, with 120 quavers room for some string bends you know and I also you know you can kind of shape it be expressive with it 
uh, like I said, you know, you probably want to start at around 60 crotchets or 120 quavers. And um, the challenge of it is if you start too fast, like the first bit is actually pretty straightforward. You could probably play that at 80 or 90. As soon as you get to that, it gets very messy and very tricky. So uh, the challenge is to stay controlled, stay in time, and build your speed up gradually. Um, time to grab the pick out, and we'll probably be doing a few more things with pick because I'm starting to use a little bit more in my soloing and in my writing. Um, thanks for getting to, through to the end of the video, and obviously, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and like the and like the video, and uh, join me on this Latin guitar journey by pressing subscribe. And I'll see you next video. And thanks for your time. And uh, check check out other videos and tutorials at LatinGuitarMastery.com. Thanks, guys. See you next week.